It's Whistler Bike Park opening day. I'm Tom Bradshaw, and it's my first ever Whistler opening day, or Whistmas, as I've been told. There's a ton of people behind me here, so let's go find out what it's all about. Let's meet the people and check out what bikes they're riding today. Christina. Hi. Long time no see. It's Whistler opening day. How you doing? I am great. That's How good. good is this? Weather's perfect. Dirt looks primo. Stoked. And we're here with your small trek session. Cute. Tell me the story about it. So the bike traditionally comes set up ready for 29er front and back, but I wasn't quite ready for that commitment. Not going to lie. I ride it on the enduro bike, but I thought downhill, I don't really want that tire up in my bum. So we're going for the mule. So far, so awesome. Uh, it's gonna take a little getting used to. On this frame, you can have that progression chip. Oh yeah. Where is that right now? So it's in the 25% progression setup for now. That's what I was recommended with the coil spring. So, you know, like I said, this is, this is testing day. It's shakedown. We're getting used to it. I think I'll like it there, but I'll let you guys know if I change anything. Don't you worry. Before I let you go, I'm gonna have to run you through the rapid fire questions. Okay. Are you ready? Ready. First thing that comes to mind. Right now, bike park. First trail. B line. Last trail. A line. 26, 27, or 29? Ooh, mullet, mule. Chamois or no chamois? Lately, I've been going no chamois on your account. <laughs> and good. it's Monday. Yeah. Where does the boss think you are? The boss hopes that I'm actually here doing what I'm supposed to be doing, so. That's and good. not just A-line laps yeah, over exactly. and over again. <laughs> I'm Perfect. working, I'm working hard for the people. Anything else we need to know, Christina, about this Starry Night Trek Session Van Gogh Picasso Special? Um, no, it's one of a kind, it's mine, it's got my name on it, so don't you go thinking about putting your paws on it. And more detailed info to come. So we're here with Sean and this beautiful Geometron. Sean, talk us through the story of this. Uh, well, this is my super giant down duro monster bike. <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> That's at my hashtag. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's like uh, a bike that actually fits me. I'm six foot six, so our 200 centimeters, and uh, I've been getting bigger and bigger bikes over the years, and this finally is a bike that actually fits me. Yeah, it's got a yeah. it's got a monster reach on it. Yes. And what's the seat tube angle? It's on paper, it's uh, listed as 79, but because the A to C on the fork is a bit taller, so it might be about 78 or so. I haven't ever taken a protractor to it, so. <laughs> <laughs> so good. And you've clearly thought about the color scheme and things yes, here. Yes, it's yes, yes. so dialed. But... I'm all about matchy-matchy, and when you catch me on the day when I'm wearing this, I match my bike. <laughs> <laughs> we got you. But, what would you say is the favorite about this machine? Uh, just how well it fits me. And the, I read about the shock and it is, it, it does everything that I've read about it. It blows me away. It's the best shock I've ever had. It just soaks everything up. It pedals uphill really well. Like how they have built the frame. It's, it's unreal. Like normally I've always on coil shocks on my downhill bike. I've had to get the, the biggest coil I can get, like the mm. heaviest coil. And it's still, I still bottom it out like crazy. This, I don't, I haven't felt bottom yet. So I'm granted, I haven't ridden too hard today, but. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. We're here with Max and your Norco Fluid. Yep. How are you today, dude? Good. Yeah, and you've just done your first lap. Yeah. What I'll was crank, it? Crank it up. And what's the favorite trail? Crank it up. Crank it up, how good. Then talk us through this bike. How long have you had it for? I've had it for around five, eight months now uh-huh and yeah it's really got to me yeah it's awesome yeah what what if i ask you what's the favorite part of the bike um well i think the fork is the fav my favorite part of the bike because it gives you a bunch of bounce when you're pulling it up you know jumps you do heaps of pulling up yeah yeah awesome so and what about these pedals they look red uh purple they're, purple yeah they're pretty cool yeah uh i got them on Craigslist, they hook into my shoes. Perfect, perfect. Now, I, I, I gotta let you run, Max, because there's lots of laps to do. Yeah. But I'm gonna ask you some quick questions before we go, okay? Sure. So, what's your favorite wheel size? 24 inch, 26 inch, or 29 inch? 
26 inch. Okay, okay. And what's your favorite trail? We've already talked about this though. Yeah, crank it up. Perfect. And where does your teacher think you are today? It's a Monday. Uh, well, I think she knows we're in Whistler or just at home, so. Perfect, you're out here learning some yeah. stuff. I'll tell her that, I'll back yeah, you Yeah, I am learning here. Exactly. So. Perfect, Max, well thanks very much. Have an awesome. awesome day. Thanks, you too. Kate, welcome, and your small specialized enduro. Yep. How long have you had it? What's the story? I've had it for two years. I originally started with a little trail bike and kept falling. And so I upgraded to a specialized enduro, and honestly, I love it. I can ride it on anything I want to, and it's, it's never done me any harm, so. What's the favorite part of the bike for you? Love the rear suspension. It's, I think it's 170. Uh -huh. So it gives me lots of, lots of squish. And then I recently, not well, sort of recently switched to downhill tires. Nice. Yeah, makes a fun sound going down. Yeah. And is it <laughs> a little any... bit louder? <laughs> is there anything specific you did for today? Just uh, turn up and thrash it? No, probably should have, but <laughs> didn't have the time. We went riding last night and then right. just put it in the garage and then went and back And then in. the lifts are open, so <laughs> yeah. let's hit it. Zane, you absolute champion. What would you say is the favorite piece of this machine? Favorite piece of the machine? Well, by far the duct tape. Yep. Saves the frame. You know, chain there, rattling, destroy your frame. What do you say to yourself to warm up for a jump? Uh, yeah, more just like the, the, the amount of rattle coming through really deadens the thoughts. Mm. Um, you can't really think a whole lot, so you just kind of do it, yeah. Just. There's, yeah, there's not a lot of, you're just trying to not crash going into it, so. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And, perfect, perfect. And what else do we need to know about the bike or the rig? I mean, she does the job. Like, she gets A to B, you go down, you put a smile on your face, everyone's loving it, and uh, at the end of the day, I mean, I don't know, like, great frame, solid, does, does me wonders, and the wheels, you know? Like, I-9, you're bomb-proof. What are you gonna do, case on a rock? No worries. No worries. No worries, she goes. You can case the rock, that's fine. You can case a rock, kiss a rock, whatever you want, like, jumps, you make them, you go deep, they're gonna work. Hey, it's 2020. It's 20, there you go. Might even be 2021. We're here with Jason and his large Norco Shore. Jason, how you doing today? Tell us a story about this bike. Yeah, man, uh, good, obviously. It's the opening day of the bike park, which is like better than Christmas, it's Christmas, everyone knows that. I uh, just built this bike up like two days ago, did a couple of test laps on Cyprus. I feel comfortable enough on it. <laughs> yes, how good. Well, soon you'll be hollering oh like these goodness. legends. How good. How was it? First lap since, yeah, how good. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> I think that guy just lost his mind. He I like mean, left it up on the hill, it's gone. We're discovering what this Wismus thing is very quickly. It's fantastic. So Jace, we're talking about the story. You're yeah. a little scared about the shore that you've built up. Few custom mods to it, I see. Uh, yeah, I've, I've taken off some parts, put some new ones on. Uh, we have like the full SRAM drivetrain on there, cranks, uh, derailleur, cassette. Um, I'm, I'm scared because it, you know, I wanted this free ride bike. I wanted it for here, essentially. There's no pedaling involved with this shore. It's got a dual crown on the front, obviously. Um, it's the shore park, so it's like made for the park. It's like it's made for a bike park. It's made for a bike okay. park. Um, yeah, SRAM codes with 200 mil rotors, 27 five inch wheels, uh, just for jumping, really. All I want to do is hit jumps. Like I was telling you earlier, if I've landed on a tech trail, I'm like, uh-oh, I've made a wrong turn. And even worse, if you're starting to go uphill. Oh yeah, no, there's a chairlift for that. <laughs> <laughs> like, Perfect. Yeah. Now let's go to the suspension. I see that's a pretty big shock you've got on there. Yeah, it's 190 mils of travel. Uh, so lots there, 200 mil up front. Uh, I'm not, yeah, I'm pumped to hook this thing to flat. You're ready to things. overshoot A-line in a heartbeat. Christine, great to have you here. How are you? I'm doing super well, thanks, and you? Very well, thank you. First day in the park, Santa Cruz Mega Tower. Yes. How good? It's amazing. For a woman like me, uh, I need a bike I can do everything with. Uh, living in Squamish, I need a bike I can pedal with. I can feel safe to going down, so this is the machine. This is the bike for me. Steve, great to see you, mate. Dude, good to see you. Good with the Da Vinci Wilson an XL beauty, yeah, an XL. Talk us through it. Uh, she's a 2020 uh, Da Vinci Wilson XL. Uh, just got off a broken leg, so during that time I was just sipping Luckies and rebuilding <laughs> everything. So 
the good people at Fox fixed the, the suspension, all the bearings are replaced, and uh, just running on these Weir One stripes this year. First time on a carbon wheel set. Beauty. Yeah. We're going to hit you with some rapid fire questions to round it out like everybody else. You ready? Um, you know I'm a little slow today. Uh, today. Okay. We'll do our best. <laughs> 26, 27, or 29 inch wheels? 29, always. First trail today? Uh, crank it up. E line, crank it up. Last trail today? Uh, what's going to be the last one? Today, A line. Chamois or no chamois? No sham wow. Yeah. And where does the <laughs> boss think you are at work today? <laughs> You've already worked today. I already worked. <laughs> <laughs> they know I'm here. He thinks you're asleep. <laughs> uh, tricked him. Sweet. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Have Cheers. a bloody good lap. Thanks, man. <laughs> Cheers. Well, we're here with Gully. How's it going, guys? Great to see you, mate. Always a pleasure. You're here with the XL Rayon from Albaya. Yes, sir. Talk us through this machine. I'm absolutely pumped on this thing. Uh, the suspension feels incredible. This is my first time being on a full Fox uh, suspension setup. It's, it's the smoothest thing I've ever been on. The, uh, the linkage ratio on this is absolutely perfect. And you're on the flats today. I'm on flats today. We're jumping. We're taking our feet off. We're doing heel clickers, you know. You're looking good. All the craziest new moves. You're looking good. <laughs> oh, you shit, you guy. I'm, I'm stoked, man. This is like Christmas. It's good to see all the smiles on people's faces hidden behind masks. <laughs> Some say Wismas. I've heard Wismas and uh, I like it. This is my first ever opening day. Oh my God, Wismas Eve was... <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. This is your first opening day. I know. I know. How, how many laps you gotten? Uh, zero so far. Fantastic, but I've got, what an opening. <laughs> I've, got it, I've got it in the track, we'll get there. It's pretty good. I'm gonna hit you with some rapid fire questions. All right. Okay. 26, 27, or 29 inch wheels? I'm pumped on 29 right now. What was the first lap today? Uh, it was with the IFHT crew. Uh, God, I don't even know. Let me guess, into A-line. No, it, well, we ended with A-line. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Last trail you're gonna ride today? Probably A-line. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Shammy or no Shammy? No Shammy. Welcome. Thanks. You've got your medium common cell Meta M 29er. Sure do. How good? How's it going first day in the bike park? Oh my God, love it. It's coming home. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What have you done to it since you bought it a year ago? Uh, just the tune-up mainly, more or less. And I changed the pedals this year to these super shiny, pretty pedals. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty nice. The yeah. DMRs, awesome. If you had to pick a favorite part of the bike, which part would it be? I love my brakes, sometimes too much, but <laughs> <laughs> they're great. <laughs> Hell yeah, what do you yeah. got? Um, Shimano's. Yeah, perfect, <laughs> perfect. Now this is, I'm a big fan of this bike because I'm currently waiting for one to turn up. I'm excited for you. What would you tell me to do on the first ride? Just have fun. Easy. Go play with it, Done. it's so much fun. Love it, it loves rock rolls. Perfect. Maddie, good to see you, mate. We're nice here with too, this bud. brand new Rocky Mountain Maiden. Yeah. Talk us through what you've done to the frame first. Uh, well, I let the Fresh Paints boys have at her. Uh, we've got a very nice pearlescent blue and white two-tone. Uh, we got some custom little NF team logo in here and some Fresh Paints decals on the back. Um, build them up with some i9 wheels, a lot of SRAM componentry. Uh, and then I have a hybrid Marzocchi 40 on the front here. Um, <laughs> That's so good. Let's go deep on this. Wow, Let's... okay. So I got the wheels. Uh, they're boost wheels and Marzocchi don't have a boost lower. So I got a new 40 lower in the boost spacing and then chucked a grip two in it. So I guess, <laughs> I guess it's a 40, but it's a Marzocchi. It's a hybrid. It's, it's yeah. a hybrid. So. Yeah. yeah, and then just a bit of sticker work. Bit of sticker work, make a custom. And then, uh, yeah, I got the title finishing kit on there. Yeah, she's, she's a lot of fun. That's so good. And what would you say is the favorite part of this whole thing? It's shiny, it sparkles, and the hubs are really, really loud. That's a wrap on Whistler opening day. I met some characters and saw some pretty awesome bikes. I have to say the favorite for me was Zane, representing the hardtail life. It's about time I got my bike out of the truck and went for a lap. So thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos. See you next time.